Howdy y'all, it's Miguel here, and today, we'll be talking about some spoons. Some spoons. Two spoons. Okay, let me stop. Now, y'all might be thinking, what's up with this girl in the stupid western accent that doesn't even sound like a western accent? And why are we talking about spoons? Why is she holding the spoon in her hand? Spoons ain't important. Now, y'all might be right. Spoons ain't important. But, spoons are very, very very important. When you think about it, they're the lifeblood of our culture. Not really, but come on. I gotta come up with something, right? Now, we can talk about various things. We can talk about the size of the spoons. We can talk about the luster of spoons. We can go into all scientific terms about spoons. But no, I'm just gonna talk to you like I know you. Even though I don't really know you, because, you know, I haven't met you. But I'm gonna talk to you like I know you. Cause, you know, that's what I do. So, spoons. Back to spoons. Spoons are very important. They are the things that we eat off of. They're the things that we scoop things with. Y'all, no, like, think I lost my waist or accent. There we go, I got it back. Not really. But come on. So there's big spoons, like this big fella here. Fella. Everyone say fella for me. Fella. Big fella here. And then there's this little spoon, like this little baby one here. Now you might be thinking. Why are we talking about the size of the spoon? Well, because it's a spoon blog! It's a spoon vlog! Let's go crazy with spoons! Let's just throw the spoons everywhere! In fact, I think I might grab some spoons just to throw spoons everywhere! No, I'm not gonna do that. Because I'd be crazy. You guys would think I was crazy, even though you guys already think I'm crazy. Y'all already think I'm crazy, don't you? Okay, well anyway, let's get past the, past the fact that I'm crazy. Now let's talk about some spoons. Now here are some important questions about spoons. Why do we use spoons? What is the importance of spoons? Why is it that we don't even think about spoons? Y'all, let me tell you something. If y'all ain't thinking about spoons, y'all got it right. Because y'all shouldn't be thinking about spoons. Because, to be honest, y'all could survive in the world just without a spoon. I mean, spoons aren't really that important. But when you think about it to a really sophisticated person who's all like, Oh my gosh, I can't eat with my hands and everything. Oh, 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 I'm going to die if I have to eat with my hands. They need spoons. Sadly, it's true. They do need spoons. Because apparently, they can't live without it. Apparently, they don't want to get their hands dirty like us techie people. So, I don't know what y'all thinking, but... I'm thinking something like, they're crazy. They're just playing crazy. Crazier than me. No, I'm just playing weird. But they playing crazy. They ain't right in the head. They're going local over here. So, spoons. Spoons are very important to people who want them. Not to people who don't need them. Because some people don't eat them. Like me, I eat pretty much everything with my fingers. My mama, they tell me no. But I'm like, heck yeah. I don't need a spoon. I can just eat this thing with my fingers. I mean, come on, the middle aged people, the, the middle ages, you know, the middle ages, not middle aged people, but the middle ages, you know, like the time period, you know, before the Renaissance. Well, they use these two fingers right here to eat everything. Because they didn't really have anything. They didn't have any utensils. They didn't have any knives. They didn't have any forks. They didn't really have any spoons. But I think they may have had like a fork or something. But they didn't really have anything. So they used these two fingers right here. Anyway. Spoons. Developed. Because people needed to eat. Properly. I needed to stop grossing people out. Because honestly, I would be grabbing stuff and grabbing stuff and grabbing stuff and just putting it in my mouth 
people would get grossed out. People would get real grossed out too. I mean, come on, I'm not, I'm not the cleanest eater sometimes. Us, us texting people, you know. Yeah. Not that we're all terrible eaters like me, but come on, really. Anyway, so spoon got invented. The spoon got invented. In fact, I don't even know when the first spoon was invented, and I really don't care because I mean, spoons, come on. Spoon is a spoon. You use it, and then you put it in the dishwasher. You use it, and then you put it in the dishwasher. And then it gets clean, and then you use it again. And then you put it in the dishwasher again. And then it gets clean again. And the cycle just keeps going and going and going and going round, round, round like this spoon here. Even though the spoon is more of an oval, oval shape. Let's go to the little baby spoon. Go to the little baby spoon, my fave. My fave. You know the really interesting thing about a spoon? You can look through it. Yeah, I'll show y'all. Let's say you're sitting like this. Okay? And you look through the spoon. Well, you look through the spoon, and you see your reflection. But it's upside down! I mean, whoever came up with the spoon must have did that just to mess with our minds, right? I mean, come on. It's upside down. The only time you're ever upside down in this world is when you're looking at this dude with spoon. Unless you're looking the opposite way. Then you're right side up. This, this part, you're right side up. This part, you're upside down. So, next. I could keep going on about this spoon, and I will. But let me ask you some questions first. What do you think is the most important utensil at a dinner table? Why do you think that it's the most important utensil at a dinner table? Now let me answer those questions. The spoon is the most important at the dinner table. Because you can use it like a fork, kind of. Like you can, let's say you have like noodles and you don't want to use a fork because you're lazy. Like my brother. You're just plain lazy. Like he doesn't do anything. He just, he just doesn't really do anything. But you're just plain lazy, right? <clears throat> Woo! So you're plain lazy and you just don't want to use a fork. And the only thing you got in your hand is a spoon. Because you were eating some real good mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Everyone say mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Real good mashed potatoes. Especially I know mashed potatoes. They're real good. Anyway. So. You go on and you don't even know whether you want to use a fork or not. So you can just use a spoon. You can just Twirl your noodles on your spoon, and you can just go, oh! Now don't spit it out like I did, but, cause I don't have anything on the spoon. But, you can just, Mmm, real good noodles! Real good noodles! Yeah, they're real good. Even the imaginary ones, they're real good. So then, you go along and get some beans. Now that's something you can use a spoon for. Especially my mama's baked beans. Yeah, my mama's baked beans. They are the best. Barbecue baked beans are the best. With a little bit of onion, a little bit of bacon, everything. Anyway, spoons. Spoons. The spoon is a really important tool. It's a really important tool for a person to live. In fact, some people can't even live without the spoon. Like I said earlier. Now, y'all might be thinking, 
is this girl ever going to stop talking in this weird Western accent that isn't a Western accent? And is she ever going to stop talking about spoons? Probably. Probably not. Just depends whether you guys turn off this video or not. Well, I think that's all I got for spoons. And I'm sure that I'll see y'all next time when my next video comes out. On I don't know what the topic's going to be. But it's going to be something weird and y'all are going to like it. I think it's pancakes or something. So if y'all want to see me eat some pancakes, that's the one I am. But, have a spoon-dancing day! Bye, y'all!